Okay, so hi YouTubers. So here's a new video and well, I had a new vlog anyway. So as you know, recently I've been preparing for Wilderness Survival. So I thought I might as well just show you some of the things I got recently. Maybe you've seen it in my other videos, but I'm here showing you guys again. So here's a big Fresno lens. Uh, well, now it's a magnifying glass. So if you have not seen my fire making video with this, please go check it out. I have a link in the video description below. That one's already up. And um, this one's coming up pretty soon. So more than likely, I'm going to post this before uh, this vlog. So um, look below for the video link. If you don't see it, that means I haven't posted it yet. So keep checking back. So that one was for the... This is like my fire Swedish fire steel. Um, yeah, so. And it will like... No, I have a video on that too. The same one that you saw the sign in. Okay, and this is actually a new one I got. So, um, the mini waterproof box I got on eBay was like less than seven bucks actually. It's from a Chinese manufacturer. So far, it is like waterproof, so I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on this one or not, but just showing you guys what inside this tiny box I did actually get a bigger one for this so you know this was my fault I didn't check the sizing but so <laughs> I'll eat the cost maybe I could find some other uses for it who knows let's show you guys what's inside the box okay so I have well this is finally shredded confetti in a ziploc bag for fire starting this is a wet fire cube. So, okay, so, uh, you know what, if you, if you do wilderness around, you know what this is. This is actually burn floating on water, so. It burns even when wet, and, yeah, it burns for a very long time, so. And in here is also a couple of band-aids. I'll try to link you the products in the video description below, and as always, I participate in the Amazon Associates program, so if you buy with my links, I do get a small commission and it won't cost you anything extra and the funds going to helping my photography and for making more videos and as for the ebay items i don't get paid for those so but i'm still gonna try to link it link it for you guys in the video description anyways so the other day they were actually doing a free ice cream event at the livermore outlets mall at the hagen dust store they had a storage too but i kind of like the outlets better since i went shopping there Anyways, the free ice cream cone led me to spend more money. These salespeople really know how to get your money. <laughs> Anyways, I got this new dress, and well, that's actually this new outfit. It cost me a bit under 25 bucks, I guess. So what do you guys think of the dress? Is it cute? I don't know. I, I, I showed it to a few of my friends, and they're like, Oh my gosh, it looks so cute on you, Sunny. But what do you guys think? So... Tell me in the comments below. I mean, you probably can tell by now I'm, yeah, I like dresses and, you know, I'm not like the pants kind of girl. <laughs> this is like such a horrible morning, okay? Like, our neighbor's dog was like having a barking contest with like another dog in the neighborhood. All morning. And I'm trying to sleep. Finally got myself up and, well, uh, there's my trusty stun gun. Open up the window, fire this into the, it fired it out, directing the sound toward the outside. Anyways, did a really good job scaring the dog enough to shut them up. Finally, I can go back to sleep. So this works for deterring animals, dogs, or humans. And of course, if it doesn't work and they're close to you, you can always just, you know. Make contact with this and it will paralyze them. Hey YouTube, maybe you remember a while back my Nexus 5 radio did break, so I needed a new phone, which kind of sucked. I actually have a video recording this on the Nexus 5. The radio broke, so it won't connect to the cell network, but it will still work over Wi-Fi and everything else works. Anyways, uh, you know, I'm a computer nerd. I already tried my best to fix it. I couldn't, so I mean, there's something wrong with the physical hardware. So here's a Nexus 6. Uh, someone gave it to me, and, well, I needed a better case for it, because this one, you know, it doesn't really protect it that well, so, this is always the best part, opening the Amazon package. Now, I think this is, I'm not too sure what this is, um, a subcase? 
I'll give you a product link in the video description below if you want to get something from them or in this case. I got it in red because I like the color red, so. All right, this is always so fun. Okay, little card. I don't do that much unboxings these days, but you know, I'm just so excited to get this. Let's see. So with a product review on Amazon or connect with us, Facebook. Visit us, email. Okay, just kind of like the anchor card. All right, um, so here's a case. You can see. Right, let's take off this hard case, which scratches up so easily. I don't really like it. So, plus this protects all the buttons. I don't like this thing. See how there's like cutouts on this and shit. This one probably protects it a lot better. Okay. Just clean up the inside a little bit. Okay. Yay. Oh, this would be awesome. I wish I got the white phone though. But then it's a gift, so what can I? <laughs> I shouldn't be complaining. Alright. Yeah, so hard to get it. Well, that's actually good. Wow, this actually looks really nice. Yeah, there's some actually dirt inside though from the machining process. So, uh, yeah, it does work and it's a little bit raised so it won't actually hurt the screen if we place it down this way. And the back is transparent, but it's not a fingerprint magnet. That's even better. Wow. Dang, so, so happy about this. I picked the right case. Today I got some packages in the mail, so let's show you guys. First of all, it's, this is the Cho 51. This is a Quadcom 2.0 fast charger. And as you know, recently my Nexus 5, which I'm videotaping on, the cell radio broke. So, I, so someone gave me a Nexus 6, and this supports a new Quick Charge 2.0. So, of course, with such a large battery, I wanted to... I needed something faster to charge it because you know when I'm on the go I don't always time I always have time to sit next to the charger. So this right here so far I'm actually gonna do a video review sometime later once I get to test it for a while, but so far uh my battery went from seventy one to seventy three percent in less than a minute on this charger, so it's definitely working. More than likely it's working, although there's nothing on the Nexus 6 that will tell me that it's fast charging or not using this technology, but you know, I guess I'll find out with time. Secondly, maybe, okay, maybe you guys don't know, but, um, I do like to store my cell phones in pouches and stuff, and this new Nexus 6 obviously won't fit in my Nexus 5. You know. Okay, so I got one of these. It's a bit of a, this one's actually a bit of um, a gamble, but I'm glad it fits. So this is a cute Rila Kuma, um, it's a drawstring pouch, it's supposed to be a bento pouch, but... It fits perfectly. <laughs> See? Yay, I like these cute things. <laughs> Alright, so there's that, and I don't know if it's a knockoff or anything, but... Alright, and last but not least, this was actually a bit of a disappointment, okay? So... <sighs> From the beginning of the vlog, maybe you remember I got this waterproof box. This was great. It was really tight. But the only problem was it was kind of small. I still have my band-aids, wet fire, and the newspaper and paper, printer paper shredded up in here. Anyways, this was actually cheap Chinese crap. And it's from HTE. I'll just sell her name on here somewhere, but... Okay, I took out the sponges. Um, This was taking up way too much room inside. The other thing was, you see these latches here? I had two problem latches. This one, and this one. I had a lot of trouble getting it open. I had to actually slip this protractor under there and pry it open, so... Yeah. Anyways, I took a closer look. Apparently, it was really badly machined. I don't know if you could see this, but there's actually burrs on the plastic. They, they didn't even clean that off during the machining process. So apparently it was uh, the angle on here was not cut correctly, so I had to use a Dremel, go in there, 
you know, shave the plastic down a little bit, and now it opens and closes flawlessly. It is supposed to be a waterproof box, but yeah. Okay, this one's still giving me some issues, but anyways, you know what? This is probably not that good. Cheap Chinese stuff that they're selling on there. And also, as for the waterproofing, I did actually do a waterproofing test in water. Uh, a few drops of water did actually soak in through the O-ring. This can probably survive a rainstorm, but if you're completely submerged in a river or a lake, it's not going to be wa that completely waterproof. Luckily for me, this waterproof box, which is also really hard, it actually fits in here correctly. This box, on the other hand, there's actually some give in here. Actually some, yeah, there's give inside the box, so you can actually... Flex a little bit, it doesn't feel like it's hard plastic at all, unlike this one, so... Yep, box inside of a box. Box Inception, maybe, you can call it. Anyways, I don't think I'll show you what's inside. Oh, of course, there was the original box with a shredder newspaper and printer paper, band-aids, and a wet fire cubes. But now, I can actually store my light my fire, which is wrapped in a lot of tin foil, which will be great for survival situations. So, this is tin foil. Wrapped on the light my fire, and this also keeps the magnesium from scraping everything. So, and this is the scraper inside here, which is also okay. Inside some tin foil, and there's also a few Ziploc baggies. I plan on also getting some waterproof matches, you know, strike anywhere matches. The um, let's see, what was it? What do they call that again? Uh. Yeah, the company that makes the wet fire cubes, they also make those waterproof matches that will burn underwater. 15 seconds total, so I might actually get one of those. I don't have one of those yet. Maybe I'd put a lighter in here, and... What else can I put in here? Water purification tablets, maybe a small blade or knife, a small hacksaw or something. That'll come useful in a survival situation, you know. And maybe a signal mirror. There's no signal mirror in this. Anyway... This is total crap. See, their logo sticker actually already fell out after it submerged it in the water, so. <laughs> Alright, guys. Maybe you saw earlier, I got a red case for my new Nexus 5. I mean, Nexus 6. I keep thinking Nexus 5 because I'm using this to video record right now. Anyways, <clears throat> I actually got a USB cable to match the red color. So here's a red USB cable, and whoa, it's actually got aluminum on it. So this looks pretty high quality and like. You know, fancy Apple-like cable. And actually, it's like a rope design. So it's like very flexible. Like, see? Normally, your cables are probably not this flexible. This actually feels like a really soft piece of rope. Let's see if I can show you guys, but... As you can see, you probably can't do that with a normal cable because uh, it won't, you know, the, the energy won't go down in a waveform. <clears throat> Let's try it with the other then. Yeah, see how the, how the energy from my hand is actually going down like a wave? So, it's like soft like a... And it's from, let's see, Sen... Senti? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's from Amazon. I'll give you guys a link to that um, down in the video description. If you do want something fancy like this, there it is with my Nexus 6, my new cable. And it's hooked up to my anchor charger right now, over there. Okay, so at the beginning of last month, well, probably during sometime during last month, I got this little uh, waterproof makeup bag. Apparently, according to the seller, the first shipment got lost, so that's why I just got it today. Anyways, um, it is not waterproof. It's got a mesh on it. Hey, is this waterproof? No, it isn't. It's at most water resistant. But you know what? The seller already sent me a new one, so... Um, I'll take it. He's done enough. Or she. Plus, it looks alright. I mean, I could store my makeup in there even though it's not waterproof. But I like waterproof, but you know, right now my makeup was just like lying really loose everywhere, so now I have this. Now since it is water resistant, I wanted to have a waterproof place to put my 
you know, the, the sharpener for my eyeliner pencils. And this is actually the bottle cap that came with my mascara. So, I don't know where to put this. Can I just throw this away? I don't know. I just... Now, I'll be honest. I'm like, I'm not much of a makeup girl. So, <laughs> two of my friends kind of peer pressured me into it. But I wasn't really that interested in makeup before. So, I still am not. I usually lazy out. Unless I'm like going to go see the doctor or something. And, uh, the mascara is actually... <laughs> Actually, mascara inside this? Ew. It got on my fingers. Anyways, uh, unless I'm, like, going to the doctors or something, I usually, like, don't put on makeup. So, <laughs> I'm usually too lazy. I'm not the kind of makeup girl. Anyways, so this is gonna be waterproof, so these two stores in here. Maybe I'll just throw away the bottle cap, but, no. I don't want the pencil sharpener rusting or anything. And then these two are my eyebrow pencils. These are just like drugstore ones right now. That's not my eyebrow pencil. This is my eyebrow pencil. They're just like a drugstore brand that I got. You know, I'm just starting off. I don't, I like, I don't know anything about makeup. Okay, I watch tutorials and stuff before, but I never actually paid attention to that. So, and this is uh, a uh, eyeliner pencil, and it's got a smudger in the back. So. Another eyeliner pencil that I got on Amazon, but it didn't actually turn out that well. That's why I got this one. You guys see it? This is the, what is this? This is the NYX. Black, or I have no idea what that is. Maybe I'll link you guys in the video description below for that. And I think this is a Maybelline New York? I don't know. Um, and is this Nature Gina? Yeah, I'm like... Yeah, I'm like totally clueless on the makeup things. <laughs> I know a little of it. I mean, check out the Amazon reviews. If it's good, I'll get it. And this is a Maybelline that I got on Amazon. This liquid liner actually works really well. And this is the one I use a lot these days, but it does actually rub off my eyes pretty easily. So it's not the best, I guess. But I usually just bring this into my purse and touch it up as I go. And... You have this, this is a bag of like, this is just cotton swab dipped in like Neutrogena makeup remover and this is like a Neutrogena makeup remover wipe. Just throw this and if I'm wearing makeup that day, I'll just like stick my eyeliner and this into my purse and I'm, you know. If everything smudges, I'll just wipe it off. As I said, I am i don't mind too much if I don't have makeup on. I know some girls do mind that a lot, so. And this is my mascara, this is a Neutrogena mascara. Drugstore brand. I got it at. Where did I get it? I got it at Target, so. No, I can also get it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they sell everything on Amazon. Before, I was just having these lie loose inside my, you know, bathroom, but now I can actually store it somewhere. zips up. Yeah, yeah, I hope this zipper doesn't feel like it's gonna hold though. It's probably the really cheap Chinese zippers. Yeah. Wasn't expecting much for a dollar, seriously. Alright. It's got these two handles on there. So that's pretty cool. Go be store makeup brushes and things in here too. Doesn't feel too sturdy though, but then uh, just cheap Chinese things. I'm expecting that one I spend a dollar on a makeup bag online, you know, on eBay. Just fold the creases here so it doesn't end up, you know. And there we go. Yay! 